<laughs> climbs a tree like I mean fucking high, like dude. Like runs it. R- you've seen it. Yeah, they and then run there's up a, a tree. cinnamon black bear, and she's got cubs, and she goes so fast up that dude. Yeah. Holy shit! You can't climb up a tree to get away from a bear. Yeah. Just get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, you're done. The big ones just don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. But they could still. They do can it. still do it. Yeah, yeah, they could still do it. Like the yeah. idea is like, oh, the big ones won't chase you up a tree. Yeah. When you see the speed that they go up a tree, then you can imagine the speed that they come across land, Yeah, you know, and it's just like, because I, I always say, I always tell people about that one that was sleeping on an elk kill that I had, a grizzly. We, we showed that video the other day. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We showed it on the podcast right. the other day. And I remember I yelled at that grizzly, the one that was sleeping on the elk carcass, and it fucking disappeared so fast and quietly, dude. And I'm like, if you don't have eyes on one coming at you, you don't know it's going to come at you until no. you're hit, until it's on you fucking eating your face well, off. Well, their pads are so soft. Yeah. The pads of their feet are so soft in order to sneak up on things. Mm. I remember the first time I went uh, bear hunting with Cam and one was walking in. He goes, right there, right there, right there. And I turned to look. I'm like, it's not making any noise. He's like, they're so quiet. Oh, this is that video, yeah. Yeah, here it is. Look at it going tree. up, running, dude, galloping up the tree. Running. Yeah. And Some fucking scary shit. It doesn't stop there either. And it ends up fucking coming. fucking hang on, too. And that's a black bear with cubs. So you can imagine that situation with the grizzly and her cubs. So fucking scary. And so that's a color phase. That and, looks like a color phase. And the one black. on the top is the black bear. Yeah. Is the cub? No, that's a, it looks like a full grown black bear. The color phase has got a cub back up the mountain with her. Yeah, that's some crazy oh, shit. Fucking, like oi, oi, crocodiles don't fucking climb trees. That's what I heard. <laughs> I heard they don't. <laughs> when are we doing this? Someone started the petition, <laughs> eh? Fucking Joe Rogan needs to hunt Australia. <laughs> yeah, you keep trying to get me out there. You got snakes too, though, bro. You yeah, got spiders Okay, shit. let's fucking, let's go over some shit here. The whole season in Australia, the whole season in Australia, I've seen two snakes. One of them not poisonous, like a red belly black snake, not going to harm you, a friendly snake. The other one, a barely poisonous snake. The bear, whole season bear, in Australia. What does that mean, barely? Ba- not very poisonous. <laughs> Might kill a kid or a fucking dog. Spiders you guys have, though. The, I didn't, fucking, no, no. This fuck, giant. They're fucking Thank hunting. Jamie, they're not the going to hurt you. Thank you. Talk to them. <laughs> fucking stay out of it. Hey, <laughs> one thing I wanted to ask you about is the thylacine, the uh, Tasmanian tiger. Yeah. I read that there there was credible reports by people in the woods that they might have seen one. I wish. I don't think so, though. But it's so remote, right? There's, there's so many cameras now. There's guys with scouting cameras right. that, that are putting it over deer wallows and stuff, like places that they would come mm. in the drink. That was a big animal, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. How big did they get? Like 100 pounds, something like that? Something like that. Might be a bit bigger than that. What a cool looking animal, too. Oh, dude. And their mouths come open like this. There it is. Scientists hunt for extinct Tasmanian tiger after sightings in Australia. Yeah, that's probably what I saw. I wish. the. What is that article from? What year? Scroll up. Last year, 2017. Oh, really? Interesting. A lot of the extinction was driven from people, right? So, like... Because they're fucking meat eaters, so they'd come in and start eating sheep or whatever. They'd get shot by farmers and right. stuff like that, which is a shame. And I'm sure they didn't realize how doing it at the time, but that you know they pushed them to extinction. You know, if there's one thing that we should bring back from extinction, if we if it's possible, I believe they should be brought back. If it's possible, right? Yeah. If they have some DNA, because uh, I mean, they would, do. I it believe. would be nice to have some sort of an animal yeah. like that. That could knock down some of the populations totally. of kangaroos yeah. and deer. They probably, and <laughs> they probably wouldn't. They probably just come in and devastate like livestock, livestock populations yeah, and people's pets. It's all fenced pets. in. <laughs> but <laughs> but it is a shame. The rules. Yeah. yeah. But let me get back to why you need to come uh, to Australia. Two snakes all year in Australia. And fucking seventeen snakes in the first month in America, dude. <sighs> seventeen. Aaron Schneider got bit the other day. Did he? Yeah. Shit. Bit his boot. Really? Yeah, yeah, I think he was in North Carolina or some shit. I forget where he was, somewhere in the south. And My buddy Jace, struck his boot. We, so this was the first hunt that I did when I come to America. We flew into Idaho and we drove straight down to southern Colorado to hunt pronghorn. And we're driving into the property at like 2 a.m. in the morning and there's a pronghorn just standing on the side of the road. You know, and it's just like, like it's dazed, you know. So my buddy Jace pulls up, he walks over to it and like literally touches it on the head like it's like it's just like walking down the road and we're like did it get hit by a car next minute i see him jump back a rattlesnake had bit the pronghorn 
Wow. And he stood, he had a leg on either side of the rattlesnake and it striked him. It actually striked him twice. It missed both times. Wow. And I had to keep questioning him. I'm like, did that bite you? And he's like, nah, nah. I'm like, have a think about it. Did it fucking bite you? And he's like, nah, it didn't. Because I watched it in the headlights go for him twice. <laughs> And uh, once we set up camp, we went back there and that pronghorn was dead. It had killed that pronghorn. Wow. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck America. <laughs> <laughs> fuck America. <laughs> Australia is so much safer. A friend of mine was uh, hiking and he st almost stepped on uh, a rattlesnake and he jumped back and then realized there was a nest of them. Holy shit. And there was shit, little yeah. ones surrounding them. They were all over the place. He was like, fuck. Yeah. He was just jumping, hopping around one leg after another. Crazy. Yeah. I actually had. Um, Apparently that happens all the time. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> and tarantulas there, dude, everywhere. There was just tarantulas walking over the ground everywhere. It was so fucking this. cool. A bold, the bold effort to prove the Tasmanian tiger is still out there. Wildlife biologist Forrest Galante has brought one species back from the dead, and he wants to do the same with the Tasmanian tiger. What the fuck has he brought back from the dead, this goddamn Frankenstein? Uh, unable to play the the Cuban solenodon is one of the most curious animals on the planet. Small shrewd shrewd must be shrewd like oh, creature. It's a mammal is a mammal, but a highly venomous one. Fuck wow. yeah, bring that back. Mm -hmm. Release it in America. Single specimen found that was thought to be lost forever. Then unexpectedly, three were caught just a few years later. The extinct species marked on. So that may be uh, the case with the Tasmanian tiger. Hmm. It'd be awesome. I hope so. Okay, so here it is. Uh, Galante is a wildlife biologist, made his life mission to search for animals that have wrongly been deemed extinct, and among those species on his list is the Tasmanian tiger. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The difficulty leads to an easy... I want, like, who the fuck has seen one? Sc keep scrolling. See if anybody, like, legit yeah. seen one. He's been traveling around the world searching for evidence of species like the Tasmanian devil, uh, Pachylemur. And the Newfoundland white wolf still exists. Hundreds of species deemed extinct worldwide annual, annually. This process isn't foolproof, and every now and then animals are rediscovered after they were thought to be gone forever. But proving the animal still out there is no easy feat. Hmm. I wonder. Huh. I hope so. It's yeah. Cool. Captured footage of a Zanzibar leopard, which is thought to be extinct for 25 years due to persecution by local hunters in the Zanzibar archipelago in Tasmania. Tanzania, rather, excuse me. Wow. That would be fucking pretty dope if they actually did find that thing. It's a cool-looking animal, you know? 